Good morning, Call of Duty people. How are you guys doing this beautiful Call of Duty morning? Today, I'm here to discuss with you the Guard Dog. The Guard Dog is another five-point streak in the Assault Strike package, sharing point values with the IMS. When called in, your character will whistle momentarily, and the Guard Dog will appear in front of you and remain in your vicinity until its death. The health of the guard dog is remarkably high compared to that of a player, making it difficult to achieve a kill and put down the dog in quick succession without a reload in between. Of course, if you are accurate, this should not be an issue. Also, the dog's health is non-regenerating. There is absolutely no perk that will protect you from the dog, but point streaks can harm the dog. However, for majority of situations, the dog is relatively similar to a squad mate. When countering the dog, brute force is the name of the game. While wearing a ballistic vest, the carnivorous canine will need to attack you three times before you come a dog's breakfast. Similarly, it takes four bites to defeat a juggernaut at full health. Noteworthy is the riot shield, not only shielding you from bullets, but bites as well. In addition, ironically, the guard dog cannot kill another guard dog. The dog's artificial intelligence is rather simple, any enemy that comes within a close range of you or the dog itself, it will attack. If you are shot, even killed, the dog will attack as well, no matter the distance between you and your attacker. If the dog is successful in avenging you, a rather cheeky Marty Dog kill will be awarded to your score. The dog will always want to be by your side. However, it cannot climb ladders or make a double jump. You can take advantage of this in Tremor by calling in your guard dog on top of a certain neighboring roof and the dog will jump down and run all the way around the map to find the easiest, on foot, way to get back to your side, possibly grabbing some kills on the way. If hit with a sniper rifle or grenade, the dog will fall to its side, giving you an opportunity to permanently put it down. In addition to attacking your foes, the guard dog will growl when an enemy is near. Fun fact, this dog is a pointer. When growling, the dog will face the direction the foe is, like a compass to a magnet. When it comes to strategy, using the guard dog's health and unique artificial intelligence to your advantage while making your opponent's accuracy futile is what you're ultimately striving for. Sitting pretty in a corner waiting for a player to run by is an effective strategy However, your position will be known and your karma will plummet. For maximum effectiveness, I would recommend rushing around in close quarters. This increases the percentage of engagements the guard dog's small attack range will come in handy. Also, it gives less time for your opponents to react to this streak. And this is where we run into the frustration of the streak. With this unique Marty Dog accolade, the point streak seems to reward dying while rushing making it effectively a 5-point death streak. For this reason, I prefer the IMS over Lassie. How does Infinity Ward fix this? There are a variety of different ways, changing the AI to have the dog retreat after your death, or giving it lower health with health regeneration. This would give opponents a fighting chance and apply more emphasis on smart rushing rather than death in the proximity of an adversary. Nonetheless, man's best friend is still an effective streak to attain. So be the master of this underdog, and give the Baja man something to sing about. And have a good day.